Hey guys, <laughs> it is December. I don't know what this video is. Um, this video, here's my Christmas tree. <laughs> this tree up a couple days ago. I literally could be a vlogmas, but for some odd reason I didn't. Don't shoot me. I actually don't know why I haven't posted. I, guys, my birthday is in a couple of days and I don't know how to feel. Like, I don't know how to feel. And I think that's why I haven't posted because I'm trying to figure out the rest of everything I want to do in my life before I'm 25. Hold on. No, I haven't been like creating anything. Like, I don't know. Is this my burnout era? Hmm. I hope it's not. <laughs> yeah, my birthday's coming up, but I think that's why I've been so like, not wanting to do anything. I need time to think, process. I ordered a new cover. I immediately just threw it on my bed. This bed, oh my gosh, let me show you guys. Get a high bed. This bed is so high. Wait Don't touch the clothes right there. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. We're getting there. We're gonna clean that. But I got this high platform bed. This thing is so hold on. Hold on. Let me show you guys. Look at it. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I wanna get a higher one. Like I wanna like be able to bust my ass getting out of the bed in the morning. You guys remember when I told you guys that I was like, I was at the point in my life where like things happening good for me made me feel weird because good things never happened in my life before. So all these good things happening in my life, hold on, let me show you guys my coats actually. I brought these coats off the Fashion Nova Lux. What the f what this called? Hold on, give me a second. One hour later. The luxury collection of letter from Forever 21. When I, I said Fashion Nova, didn't I? Wait a minute, hold on. Anyways. <laughs> But I got these two coats, they are so nice. I showed you guys these coats on live and y'all actually discouraged me and told me they were ugly. These coats are very, very nice. Y'all are haters. Let me put them on. But like, yeah, I told you guys when good things happen in my life, like it feels so like unreal. Like it feels like, like I'm, I'm in my mind like, why is good shit happening to me in my life? When I need to stop being like that, I just need to be more accepting. And I'm trying to, but it's like, ain't no bad gonna happen. Look at this coat, hold on. This is giving like greaser, like, you guys are gonna do what, cool cat? <laughs> and then this is the puffer jacket. I've been in love with this puffer jacket. This, I've been wanting this. What's crazy is I've been wanting this coat for like a year and I finally got it. And I really love it. Like this is my favorite coat. I'm gonna put links for them in the description just in case you guys wanna get them. But I really love this coat. I feel so weird, like I don't know why. Why is good things happening to me? <laughs> it just scares me a little bit. I don't know. For me a couple months ago, me last year, I felt as though, like when good things happen to me, something bad is about to happen. And I think that's what my mentality keeps being. And nothing bad happens. I just don't know how to be accepting of good things. <laughs> but I can say that recently I've been okay. With, like I've been trying to like, I've let good things happen to me. Like I got something really good last week. I really don't want to speak on it yet. But I got something really good last week. And I actually don't even know how to really react to it. Like I was actually surprised. It hasn't hit me. Stop! Yeah, just because I'm like, uh, okay, now I want to do the next thing. Now what's next? Like, I'm trying to just, and I know it's good to live in the moment, but I really have a problem living in the moment. Like, I'll just like, like something, like the thing that happened to me, it happened. I got email, and then the next day I was working on something else, trying to trying to just like keep my brain going. I, at this point, I don't fucking know. Do I got ADD? I don't fucking know. I think what's happening, because I'm a Capricorn, you guys know, I'm I'm a very driven Capricorn. I'm trying not to be as much just because I know the traits that come with it. Like, it's a lot. Like, I'm very much a realist. Speaking of clothes I brought, I actually brought these furry pants too that you guys are probably gonna see in the Mexico vlog that I'm probably not gonna post until the end of the month. <laughs> but these are the furry pants from um, Boo Man. I really love these pants. Yeah, I did me right before I went to my Mexico trip. And mind you, all of the clothes that I bought from Boom Man before I even went to Mexico. I didn't even take pictures. A clown. We're not even gonna talk about Mexico. And as again, I'm very sorry for the Mexico vlog, but I do have a Jamaica trip coming up and I'm gonna get amazing footage for you guys for that. So stay tuned for that because that Jamaica vlog is about to be crazy. But yeah, I'm a very driven Capricorn and I think the older I get, the more like life, like I grew up so young. So the older I get now, it's like life is setting in like, my whole mentality is I don't want to do anything if I think it's not going to work out. Like, them people that be like, I just spontaneously want to drive to just do this and do that. I don't get that. I don't get that. If I feel those not work, going to work out, I'm not going to do it. And I'm trying not to do that because sometimes you have to just take a risk in life because, you know, I'm good at taking risks, but some of the risks that I feel as though I take is like a double-edged sword. Like, I wouldn't take a risk for something I feel as though in my heart 
will genuinely never happen or never will be or like nothing good will come out of it. So those people that be like, oh my God, just take the risk, you never know. Yeah, you never know, but I wouldn't want to risk that never know and apply that to every little situation. Like, let me just take the risk. In actuality, you never know until you do it, which is really scary. I'm the only person that don't watch stuff after they bought it. Like, some people are like, oh my gosh, I buy a shirt from the store and I wash it because so many people touch it. Mm. I don't care. I don't want to do that. <laughs> and I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not doing it. It's too much f***ing work. <laughs> it's too much work for my spirit and I'm not doing it. These clothes are so cute. I got these off of Amazon. <laughs> they got like little lightning. Look at them. They're so cute. Oh my god, this might be the last time you guys see me with my hair. So I'm trying to get all the content out with my hair so you guys don't be like, what happened to your hair? Where did it go? It's fucking gone. <laughs> That's right. Look at it. I love this cover set. One hour later. What the f was I talking about? <laughs> but I had to buy another ring light wire because my animals chewed it up. That's my f life. I'm, yeah, <laughs> yeah. At everyone's age right now, and I might delete this video. <laughs> I feel as though like the age everyone is now, I feel as though there should be no room for bull Like, I don't think anyone should be weird. I don't think, and if you are weird, I feel as though if you are weird though, you can be the weirdest on the planet. But if you know how to communicate, at least let me know why you being weird. What the f am I talking about? <laughs> that caught it, caught it. And if you ain't catch what the f I just do, then you need to pay the f attention. Why lie with I hope you guys have been fine though. I hope everyone's mental has been fine. I'm not dead. I literally have been gone from every social media for about hmm. two weeks. <laughs> I'm guy, guys, I'm getting bigger. You guys remember how skinny I used to be? What if like next year I'm like bigger? And this is gonna be where we go. Okay, let's do let's do a body let's do a body thing. Okay. Wait a minute. Hold on. Funny, weird. I feel like everybody goes through that phase at least once a month where they just like, I don't want to do this. Shit. I don't want to do any of this. Shit. Then it's like, along with doing that, you gotta realize life isn't gonna stop. So that time that you want to take a break, you're taking time away from things that could cost you later. And that's kind of my headspace right now. Currently, I feel as though I am taking a break just because my birthday's coming up and I'm like, I ain't trying to do too much. But I feel as though I needed a break because I was literally on go for months at a time. Please take a break. You're gonna, it's gonna cost your mental if you do not take a break at whatever you're trying to achieve. So you having the same work, 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 it's like, that's all you're gonna be programmed to do. And that's not really good because when you are in moments where you wanna take a break, it's gonna be like worrying about work. Take a break, but don't stay in a break too long to where you get lazy. And that's why sometimes I fear of taking a break because when I take a break, I get so lazy and I get disgusted with myself when I get back in my workflow. It's like, why the did you waste all that time? You know how many things you miss out on not doing anything? And that is like annoying, <laughs> annoying as actually. I don't know what the this video is, but Vlogmas Day month. <laughs> Am I really gonna do Vlogmas? Like, subscribe, share, comment. Don't forget to view the video content if you guys enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed me cleaning up and yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go now. <laughs>